going live on that one. <coughs> it's off in there. We are going live, people, in the loft. Now, I'm just testing. We've got Shah on the mic today. Is it working, Shah? What? <laughs> it, can you hear us on the live? What? Yes, I know that. Can you hear me on the live? Oh, okay. Try now and see if you can hear us. Whoever's joined us, Alice, you're on. Can you check our sound, please, for us? Anyone else check our sound? Just so that you can hear us, please. Because I've got a little microphone in there. So, tell me. Someone. Yes, thank you. Fine. Well done, Shah. Job one has been completed perfectly. Um, I'm joking. Shah can now come up. So, we are in the loft. Now, feature the new sign. Yes, Shah, you you're allowed up. Yeah. Um, we are, we've got Katie, Bert, makeup, stylist. That doesn't count, does it? Artist. Uh, so we are back again together, which is very exciting. And we, uh, as you know, The Loft is about, it's basically a chat show every Sunday, talking to everyone and anyone about uh, everything, basically. So today we're going to be talking about lipsticks. And um, we have Shah behind the scenes. Hi. He's going to be reading your comments and asking questions. Oh my um. God. <laughs> Every time there's a technical problem, Shah's phone isn't working now. You might have to go on to Kate's, but I'll read them instead. Hi there, Rob Hewson. Hi, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, Nikki Landy. Here we go. So, finally, we've almost sorted it. I think we're live on Facebook. The loft sign is the right way round, and we are the right way round, and I have dribbled down my face. So, we're going to be talking lipstick today. Kate and I have been at Thai Farn all day. We're very tired, and Kate is tired. So, the fact she's here is fantastic. Are you reading them, Shah? You got yeah, them. I Fantastic. Well a little bit behind. So yeah. um, we're going to be talking about lipsticks. So if anyone's got any questions about lipsticks, let us know. I might be applying some lipstick to Kate, which, if any of you understand, will be awful because I'm shit at makeup. So, yes. um, so talk of us about the, your favourite lipsticks, Kate. Um, What's your favourite brand? So I, my favourite brand is probably Charlotte Tilbury or MAC. Um, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are a little bit expensive. Can we pick um, these we up? Pick up? So I would beautiful. say they're coming lovely packaging. Uh -huh. Rose um, gold, baby. Rose, rose gold. gold. Um, they are a bit expensive. I think they're twenty four pounds. Oh yeah, Matt. What's it, what, what makes it stay on? Nikki Mundy's asking. Okay, so um, it's always good to have pillow a good talk. base with your lips. So it's always good you can put primers on pillow there. Talk, yeah. Um, yeah, this is pillow talk. Yeah. Well done, Nikki Mundy. <laughs> um, so. Pillow Talk would probably be one of the most popular lipsticks, I would say, ever. Um, it is loads of brides use Pillow Talk. Yeah, so I, and I bought it for my mum, and it was a risk, but you told me to. I hadn't even matched it, and it, she, she said it was amazing. So Pillow Talk is one of those lipsticks. It's like a new, it's, it's a really good nude lipstick, but it has got different undertones to it. So if you've got a naturally pink lip, it'll bring out the pinks in it. If you've got a naturally brown lip, it'll... See brown. that's crazy. So you can have pink and brown, like different. Yes. So thing. I don't the, understand the whole lip color. So uh, your lipstick will be different compared to your complexion, your lip color. So if I put this on and you put this on, it would probably look different colors because your skin tone and lip color is different. Yeah. Than mine. I didn't think so it like would look completely hey, different. Hey there, lovers. Hey there. I'm watching. Hey. Woo. So I didn't think about that. That's crazy. So how do you how do you match? How do I know what I would? So, my lips. I never wear lipstick, by the way. So we should put some on because I look fantastic. So that's the thing. If 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 you're a bride and you don't normally wear lipstick and you want to wear some on your wedding day, it's probably quite a daunting thing to try and pick a lipstick. Um, the best thing is to to stick with what you know. So colours that you know that suit you and look good on you. Um, if you have got quite fair skin, it's good to stick with nude pink undertones. Um, don't go too light because it's just you're just gonna have that horrible like concealer lip and look like a zombie, which in all honesty, it's not so you, so better to go a little bit poppier then with pale skin, uh, so you don't get yeah, dead. You want you want sort of nudie pink tones. Okay. Um, avoid yellow and orange tones. So if you've got fair skin, avoid orange and yellow toned lipsticks. So if you have like a caramelly brown, so um, like Honey Hepburn from Charlotte Tilbury would look pretty horrible on you. <laughs> I think we should try it. <laughs> what um, one would look good on me? If you've got, I would say. Um, probably well I'll find one I'll get it out for you um, if you've got medium skin tones peachy pinky undertones are gonna suit you better uh, so my skin tone I suppose is in medium skin tone so I would my favorite lipstick is very Victoria by Chai Tilbury um, on myself which is actually a bit darker 
if you've got olive skin tones you want a peachy pink undertone how do you um, choose the lip liner so lip liner you want one that matches so pillow talk if you were to have pillow talk they do pillow talk lip liner um you just want to get one that is best matched to your colored lipstick i have probably about 30 different colored lipsticks in my kit if not more um i don't have 30 different lip liners so you tend to get in weddings either a pinky tone or a nudie tone or brownie tone so i just stock sort of half a dozen lip liners that are of that range so one of them's going to match but if you're just going out and you want to get a new lipstick i would recommend getting a lip liner that matches it if it's one that you're going to wear every day otherwise get one that's yeah, sort do of one with all of the charlotte tilbury yeah. ones don't they and don't oh don't matches. look at this one don't look at our stuff <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah the pillow talk lipstick lipstick and lip the set is really nice to get um but you can get you can always blend it in just get a lip liner that is a similar color and you can always blend the lipstick into it so it matches so you don't see the lip liner the lip liner is there to stop it bleeding did you put it on before or after you put it on before oh you can put it on after if you want to highlight the lip area so if you want to get it more defined if the lip line is darker you can then blend the lipstick in but we're talking like i mean if I put lipstick on, I'm literally just quickly, but on a wedding that I would use different colours as well. So I'll be blending it in with a lighter colour, darker. Yeah, you do the really good where it's blended in. You can tell I don't know shit all about makeup, but you where you blend it in, so it's like yeah. slightly darker in here, is that right? And then well, yeah. Again, it's personal preference. Some people don't like that. I mean, I'm not gonna tell someone I shouldn't wear that lipstick on their wedding day if they want to. But I will put try and put colours on that I think are gonna suit them. But they might not like it, so yeah, mm. kind of have to cater to everyone. Nice. So, um, and talk talk about applying it. Do you always apply it with a brush on you, or do you I, apply it straight from the source? For for myself, yeah, I would not have time to apply it with a brush, um, just because I'm a pretty busy person. So I will just use a lipstick and just apply it on quickly in the car, and I probably wouldn't even put a lip liner on because I just don't have the time. But I would highly recommend you use a lip liner. And applying with a brush, I find easier to someone else. Because you can really get, you get all the lines and details. It's better to apply with a brush. My sister is the worst person at applying lipstick. She, she does is just, my head in. Let's hope she's watching. <laughs> so get every, some tips. every time, my sister wears quite a bold lip. So she's very pale and she has a bold lip. And she never wears, wears lip liner. And she never oh, gets all the areas of her lips. And it does my head in. So for her, whenever I see it, I, I have to reapply her lips. So Nikki's asked if uh, a crease lips. So my lips, are you still getting these sharp? Yeah. I might have been just butting in then, sorry. Lipstick smudges, how do you prevent this? You're not getting old, Nikki, you look fantastic. What do you mean lipstick smudges when it bleeds out? Yeah, I think that's... So um, if, if your lips are bleeding out, you need to take care of your lips. So your lip is, is part of your face, part of your skin. So you need to look after your lips as much as you look after your skin. You can get exfoliants for well, your that's lips. because I, I like exfoliants. You have them, don't I you? I do have them. So they're dead cheap as well. Who um, knew? Tell me who knew about these that you didn't, Sean. No, I didn't. Mental. So you can get little lip exfoliants. So this, I mean, I've only ever found one by ALF. And it's, it's so it's cheap. I think it's like, I think it's only a couple of quid. Um, it's a bit battered. Ooh, um, so smells. I think that, what is that coffee one? So like, one of them is not a nice smell. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get a mint flavour, a vanilla flavour. And, and are you wiping the stuff off after? Yeah, so right. to exfoliate your lips, you want a clear lip. And then it is literally an exfoliant. You can just use an exfoliant, but this is meant for your lips. So it's an ellipse again. It's good and you literally, good, isn't it? For winter as well. For winter, this yeah. is great. Oh, oh, the body, body shop, shop to do a lip. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, well done. What was that? Body shop. Body shop. You used to do a lip scarf. Yeah, so... Oh, a scarf. Yeah. Oh, fine, yeah. Something. yeah. Um, but I love these, and especially with this time of year, you tend to get quite a dry and flaky lip. And when you're putting lipstick on it, it, it kind of just grabs that and it looks disgusting. Um, so, yeah, you just put it on, so, exfoliate oh, your okay. lip, and then you wipe it up, and then wipe it away. So I just use a baby wipe or a wipe and just wipe away the excess and just try and just keep going back and forth until you get rid of as much as you want. Obviously, don't be too harsh. You don't want to pull the skin off your lips. <laughs> Bleeding lips. <Yeah. laughs> trying to put the lipstick on. Ah. <laughs> You'll know. And also, look after your lips. In the winter, it's cold. You're going to get more cracked lips. Use lip balms. Um, I would highly recommend um, a lip yeah, balm. Yeah, you said it the other day, didn't yeah, you? Eucerin. Because you said that Vaseline is sometimes dries so your lips out. Vaseline can sometimes dry your lips out. Basically, if you, if you have Vaseline, you need to continuously wear it. If you stop <clears> using it or just use it because you think your lips are dry, it's, you're not going to get the benefits from it. So, Eucerin is great. Nivea is a good one as well, but yeah, I really like the Eucerin one, and I would highly recommend it if you feel like it's dry. For daily use. For daily use, yeah. 
So it's like, it's like looking after your skin, looking mm. after your lips the same way. It is true, isn't it? Because the moment they're dry, it's a, it's a bit yeah. more butter, isn't it? Um, so uh, <coughs> lip brush then. Are yes. you allowing me to put some on? Yeah. Safe wants you to put one colour on the top, one on the bottom, <laughs> so you can see the difference. Okay, okay. so uh, we've picked a bold right. colour. <laughs> Hang on. Also, can I just add, I have never, ever applied lipstick. Ever. Um, I'm assuming we just whack it on. Well, I've also got you a lip liner. So oh, you right. can... How close do I have to... Right, okay. Do I put that on first? Oh, yes. right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, so today we're going to be using... What is this? Um, I think it's... So basically, I left my lip How do I? Car, I do I, 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 do I have to touch your face if to you get... To. Oh, my God, this is going to go... Right, okay. So you've got to... I know. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Look at the concentration. I'm scared. I've got. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, actually, it's quite good. Okay. Any other questions, Shah? Well, like, oh, I've got a bit clowny on the side there. So says Lush do a good, exfo good exfoliating lip thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> laughing because it's a bit clown like. Hang on. Oh, no. <laughs> It's Ty really Brown says, are you wearing slippers, Katie? I'm... Listen, the thing is, so last time I kept these on, and I, had, I didn't realise the camera angle changed, and we had to pull it back, and suddenly I realised I was wearing my slippers, so I put these on again. <laughs> Listen, they're the trousers and slippers, baby! Okay, we got to concentrate here. Okay, lip oh, liner on the lip or above it, so says. Very much above it at the moment. But that's is that because... where it's supposed no. to be? I'm going low, you can tell, can't you? Look, Kate's face is... <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna look real pretty don't you worry about it there you are sweetheart oh that doesn't, like from the mirror that doesn't look too bad hang on then so then so how much do we get on of this yeah. if we were applying i don't think that's too bad okay. so we, we got have we got so um okay so we've talked about lip hang on so and you try do you have to make up the, the kind of we're just pushing this on, right? How do we have to go into the mouth here? Do we have to go? How much do we go in oh, here? Lip liner, you want to follow your lip line. <laughs> so try and follow the natural line of your lips. So you don't want to like, over accentuate. Some people want this is really to over accentuate. Oh yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> to be fair, Harrison did bite me before I left, and I could have just gone um, straight down. Yeah. So yeah, you want to follow your natural lip line. Um, You've got to concentrate. I don't think makeup is not my forte, is it? I don't. I, I don't think I've got a very steady hand. Are we going under here? Okay, this one. Have we got any other questions for lipstick? I realise that I'm now stopping them. The makeup artist. Let's just <laughs> whack this on. You know, we go right up here. That's nice. Um. So is this colour this one popular, Kate? No. All right. It's very, not very many bright. people go for bright pink. How much do we put no. on here? Oh, you want it to show. <laughs> So I would never wear this lipstick. Mm. It's really hard. It's quite hard with the brush. No, it's good. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Do you wear lipstick, Sharp? No. All oh, right. Okay. Well, you because know. Because then you... it just comes off. Really nice bottom lip, off, haven't so you? I can tell you how to get off and off. I think what's nice about this is it's quite patchy. Which is... <laughs> <laughs> it's not so nice to be patchy. <laughs> which is quite nice, I think. Is that good? Do you have to then do that? Oh, oh, that is a mass. So it, it, yeah, okay. It's not okay. Bad. So if anyone wants this or wants me to apply it, this one is called. Cool. So this is really bright lipstick, which is we I've chose it because it's bright, so we can see it on my lips. Um, but I would would never put this on a bride. No, you look pretty punchy with it. So with yeah. lipsticks, they do they go off? Yeah. So every every form of makeup has an expiration date. Yeah, we always talk about this because it's um, quite an interesting fact for people. And cream products, well, oh, are... lip gloss. That's a good idea. Yeah, we'll ask that. So um, products, so eyeshadows and powders seem to have a longer expiration date. Um, foundations, will have, I find, have and um, concealers like liquid concealers have the shortest expiration date. Um, you should be able to find them on the um, on product somewhere, but um, I just it's the thingy date. I just, an expiration date. Some of them say. This one does. Um, but <coughs> so you'll you'll be able to tell, especially with foundations. You will. Def I can always tell if a foundation's gone off as soon as you put it on your skin. It's harder with lipsticks um, because they look fine, but it's you'd be able to tell when you apply it. Um, it's not going to go on as well. It's probably going to crack. It's not going to feel very nice. But um, they have a longer shelf life than your liquid products. Okay, that's interesting. So lip glosses. What do what are lip glosses? So um, so lips like like it's it's changed a lot people seem to want a matte lip more than a gloss lip but people that don't tend to really wear 
um, lipsticks every day. I prefer like a natural gloss. Yeah, that's what I would probably use. Although so, I use it myself, so. um, I, lip glosses are fine. I tend to like one from Mac, but it's just a just a squeezy gloss. It's so it's this one. It's, Take the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this on. So this is right. So gloss creme brilliance from yeah. Mac. Lovely. What's your favourite foundation for all day wear? Um, again, Ooh. it really depends what sort of coverage you want. So if you wanted a nice natural foundation, um, you can. I mean, every day right. I wear. I say Lord, I double wear. That's what works for my skin, um, and I like it because I have actually really bad skin, so it does cover quite well. Um, if you just want a nice, cheap, everyday foundation that gives a bit of coverage but not too heavy, I'd highly recommend the ordinary. Medium, medium coverage. So yeah, the ordinary is great. So the ordinary do a serum and a coverage. Um, the serum is very water-based, so it's very natural. I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but the coverage one is really nice. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless is quite a nice one as well. Um, well but for medium, for medium coverage. Medium, medium coverage. So I would class me as medium coverage, but SA Lordy or Lord A Double Wear can be classed as heavier. So it really depends what you class as medium. I would class this as medium. Um, double Wear is my favourite. If you can afford it, I'd recommend the Giorgio Marnia one, because that is heaven. Um, Oh, Charlotte Tilbury, the new one she's got out, and the flawless one. The new one she's got out is slightly heavier, and the flawless one is slightly lighter, so they would be a medium coverage. The ordinary you can build up, so with all foundations you can build up to get more and more. So the ordinary is only £5, so it's a nice one to try out as well because you're not going to spend a lot of money on something. Um, and you can just build it up to get more of a heavier coverage. Um, or you can mix a bit of your moisturiser with, say, the double wear and you get more of a tinted moisturiser, so it's a lot more natural. What um, about for me? Yeah, I know, look at that. No, Sigh. And do you have because that with I'm a so brush? pale. Um, sorry. Oh, she does it with Primark uh, sponges. She'll kill me for saying that. And then she'll kill me. She's like, once at a wedding, I was like, I've got these Primark sponges you can have. And she was like, don't you dare. Because your sponge costs, you're like, my, sponge, my sponge costs 18 pound, and Katie come up with some Primark You can tell I do money. makeup. It's <laughs> like, here you go, Kate. <laughs> These will work for you. How dare you? Um, so yeah, that's what you use, isn't it? Yeah, really nice brush. I have recently purchased a Lush Foundation brush from MAC. Um, I, I can't remember what it's called, and my brushes are not here. Um, they also do a really beautiful concealer brush as well. Um, and it's sort of got like an angle, and I, I, I can... I can. Well, we'll go on, and, yeah, we'll, we'll post up but, stuff. Yeah, so products. I would recommend applying foundation with a brush um oh, or yes, your hands Alice, there is one I love mine. um so <laughs> your hands are, are really great for blending so i mean i would never apply foundation on somebody's face i won't apply it with, on you with my hands but yeah i would use a brush because it's just not hygienic or very nice for me just to be like mm. but to blend with using your fingers to get into areas is great your fingers are your best tool obviously you're just gonna get foundation on your hands um when i work i use a brush and a beauty blender so I love a beauty blender. That's what Katie tried to give me for a pound, and mine's eighteen pounds. <laughs> oh, there was two of them for a pound. I don't know why you're. Um, oh, yeah. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with them. The thing is, if you get a cheap one, you're not going to get the same impact you get with the the beauty blender that I like. Um, you just lose more product on a beauty blender. I'd never recommend using a sponge. With a sponge, it's pretty gross unless you wash it all the time because you're constantly putting product out, which is going on your face. It also sucks up the foundation, so you lose you lose oh, using more product. Crazy. So that someone Alice is asking about cheap moisturiser. That's right. On there, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. Now you've got one, haven't you? Because we you ask that a lot. Over yeah. These, aren't so they? um, a cheap moisturiser is Astral Cream. It's one pound seventy five in Sainsbury's. Is that the big blue pot? So it's a bit like. Charles <laughs> like, hang, I know. Um, I love I Astral Cream. Thought, yeah, it's it's old school though, isn't it? It's old school. It's like old school, like granny. Grannies would wear it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> grannies would. Yeah. It's um a, like a bright blue lid with white writing, Astral. Um. And it's a really nice cheap moisturiser, and I use it. I love it. I think I've got a part. Yeah. And Nivea, you said was good. Nivea is good. So when I when I trained to so do makeup, thick. yeah, it's very thick. Primers weren't a thing, so we were in our kits. We were told to get Nivea and use Nivea as a primer. Um, so that's what we used to use. Some moisturisers will pull your makeup off. Um, so Nivea and Astral Cream will not pull your makeup off. So um, that's why primers are good because they're there to prime the skin rather um. than a moisturiser can just make your makeup slide off and not last as long. 
So actually, yeah, you often tell people not to moisturize before. So most people will come up to me and say, I've moisturized my face. And I'm like, oh, what with? Because so I can't risk it on a wedding you day. It, basically. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't risk it if I don't know if that moisturizer is going to pull it off or not. Um, so yeah, Astral so Cream, Astral. Nivea, fantastic. Or just a cheap primer. A cheap primer is better than no right? still, well, still, I'm still, still on Smashbox. Yeah. Still on top, still still on Smashbox. Uh, also, Aldi do one, apparently. Oh, do uh, they? Do they? Oh, Aldi nice. do one, which is good. Okay. I've not ever been to Aldi, Aldi, so. What? No, I've never been to Aldi. I don't go to Aldi, because the running joke is it doesn't sell loose tea. And I was ripped the crap out of for that right. comment. So, <laughs> with pen eyes, so... So, so do you wear foundation or anything under your eyes? You do, Soph, I think, don't you? You're always putting, just putting stuff on. Because, um, so what you need to do is, is <laughs> I'm get, I would assume that you have quite um, maybe oily skin. And, um, okay, so great. So you need to prep your face area. You prep your it's eyes. It's a primer. Is so, it, well, you can use a primer, but powder. So if you're finding that products, Ooh. like, sort of... Go, melt a bit and go pandery you put a powder under there so just a loose translucent before. powder before oh. you apply any eye makeup so if you so to prep the eye i would um, use a primer a concealer mixed with foundation and i would go all the way around here i would then set that with a powder just a loose translucent powder is great because if it's translucent you can use it when you've got a tan you can use it that's what i use like, all the time because all you're not going to put a different color so, on you yeah. and it's not going to ruin the makeup you've already put Translucent powder is amazing. Um, so, and just you've got a it. big pot of the, 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 the what is that pot? Bobby Brown. No, that's um, so I use Mac. You're always doing that to brides, always looks lovely, but it's quite aggressive. Oh, <laughs> is that? Am I right, sir? No, like not mean, but just like you know, enthusiastic. It's a big, it's like a loose pot with like white stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. yeah, so I use the Laura Mercier. There it is, there it is. Where's the brush? Oh, oh, yeah. I've not got my brushes oh. there in the car. Um, so I and you always like <laughs> before they go, and it always looks really cool and dramatic. I um use yeah, I this like the lovely one. Prime Mac. Yeah, this is clean. <laughs> I like it. Here it comes. Look. Ooh. Oh, so it's just that this yeah. is a loose one. They do do this in a compact as well. Um, it's very white. It's, yeah, it's translucent. Mate. I know, but you know, let's give this on. So, I'm going to do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with a translucent powder, you're not going to get that. No, like, it's not going to do anything there. like that. Yeah, you're, the thing with translucent powder, you won't get coverage with it. So, when you get a compact powder, like that is a colour, you'll get coverage, and that with translucent, it's literally there to set your makeup. Uh, I need to have. And if you're in in the heat and anything, this is going to stop you shining. It's also going to keep. Your so you can still use on. that if you don't wear foundation, because I don't wear foundation. No, there's no, no point you wearing no, it, mate. No, no, no point for me. No point for me. But um, so what lipstick would you recommend for me to put on? What have we got? All oh, got five minutes. Um, oh, what lipstick would I put it's on? Gone. Oh, so oh. it says amazing. Thank you. Yeah, the trans translucent. Before you put foundation on. No, yeah. after. after. So put the powder on after. So set. Set everything, so put do your base that like you would normally do, and set the whole lot with translucent powder, unless you're going to put a cream, a cream based product anywhere else. So if you've got, um, so yeah, just set the ho whole thing with powder. I always do my eyes first because the pigment drops. Um, oh yeah, crazy. But that's if you're doing like a heavy eyeshadow. Of course, because then you've got to brush it off. So you? I would always set that before doing any eye makeup, but then I would set the whole thing. Where should you put it? Highlighter. Highlighter. Um, so it depends what you want. If you want like a, a sort of a Kim K look, then um, you have to go with um, like a contour with where your face, how your face shape is and what bits you want to highlight and which bits you don't. A general for highlighting is obviously here. So you would do sort of like here, down the crook of your nose, here and here, and then you would contour the rest. So it really depends on your face shape. It's not, but if you just want a general everyday highlighter, then I would say here, 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 and just here. Mm. Um, it depends also if you're using a shiny one. So if you've got one with shimmer in, then um, it, again, it's it's personal preference. I don't particularly like a shimmer one, but I'll put it on someone if they want a shimmer one. So yeah, very good, very good. So last. <laughs> Let, let's have a look at some lipstick on me before we have to wrap it up because it's gone so quick today, <coughs> ladies. Also, get on to my website and sign up to the loft. Also, if you have signed up and it hasn't worked, can you let me know because uh, it should have just sent me an email, which case you can get freebies and stuff. I think we still need to send out the underwear from last week. Hello, new people joining us. Um, yeah, go on then. Let's go for it. Oh, you're going to be mean to me. I can already see it. Go on. <laughs> 
I got a nice one. This is going to take time, though. I know, because this is the thing. I mean... Are you... Right, okay. okay. So you're going to go slightly below the lip with the liner. Yeah, so just... Yeah, well, I followed... Yeah, on your bottom lip, it's harder to define. What happens if you haven't got Archer thingy below? Do you just make that up, like sort of Corona de Vil? No, you just have to be careful. Like, um, I did my friend's makeup for a wedding and she said, Oh, can you go above my lip? Look at and this. Like a duck. <laughs> Fine. From this angle on Facebook, looks re also looks really weird. Cause it looks like I'm going, Hey! Because I've got one side. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> any other questions, Shah? Have you got any questions? No questions, but lots of people saying thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you're recommending a brush? So yeah, this brush is I have a super thin top lip. Should I go over it? That's slightly, 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 slightly. Just, but don't do it so it's too obvious. Um, so yeah, you don't want to have like a duck lip, and you don't want it to look unusual. So you need to at least follow the line of your lip, but go slightly above if that's what you want. Um, but yeah, just don't go too high up because it will look a bit odd. So, like I said, I did my friend. She has to go higher up, and like a duck. And what happens when you have to when you do that shading stuff? What what colours do you put in each bit? Dark so on the outside, light on the inside. I would do yeah. So I do dark on the outside and blend it in, and then a little bit light, like a highlighter. So you always highlight your lips like you would do with your face. Um, I mean, it's time consuming, so it's also like if you've got time to do it. Your I have lipstick. It looks really rushed. trashy. Really trashy. Oh, so <laughs> you're gonna you do my top lip while you're talking, just because <laughs> I feel like if you don't finish, I've got one lip. <laughs> um, so to keep your lipstick on, there's loads of things you can do. You can buy um, lipsticks that are lip stains, which will last longer. You can buy um, a lip stain. Um, you can buy lip coat, which is a product my mum used from the eighties, which mm. I love. Um, it does make your lips tingle. Um, yeah, every bride says that. It is that. a little bit like putting nail polish on. It, it is a bit like putting that, yeah. You, you know it, Sean. I do, I remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I'll buy it from with the astral cream. <laughs> it's really fun. I didn't know what they were doing. Um, I didn't know what they were doing. Just because the 80s had like hairy, hairy acre. It's really yeah. hard to talk, you know. Yeah. Um, so you can get like um, a lip coat or you can. Um, there is a little trick. Oh, I'm dribbling. If you put your lipstick on, you can blot. Put some translucent powder over the top, oh, reapply honey. the lipstick, block translucent powder, reapply the lipstick. It will keep it on. I haven't finished. <laughs> it, will, um, it, will, it will keep it on for longer. Sometimes it can, if you have got your dry lips, it can make them crack a bit as well. Um, so you just have to be careful not, like, obviously look after your lips. So Hi, Mummy! Look how bad that shadow is, but that looks lovely. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll put a list out. Thanks to Kate, who burnt makeup artist. Hire her for all your weddings. Um, you also do uh, lessons, don't you? Yeah. And all the other shit. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, well, so what we'll do is we'll put a list out of all the products that we've talked about today, and you can find them. I'll put them on a post on Instagram. <laughs> but uh, drop Kate a message if you want to ask about makeup. Katie Burt Makeup. M is it MUA on there? Or no, just okay. Katie Burt? Okay, but makeup uh, and ask her anything you need to know. So Where thank you. Like, oh my god, thing? I need a lesson. So for there she is, and she's local. Um, so I'm pleased that we've got joint both things <laughs> joined. That's great today. Technical issues ticked off. Get involved, sign up, and we'll see you next week. Now next week is going to be hair removal, bitches. So get involved with that one because that's going to be funny as fuck. Um, so that's it. We'll see you soon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Who's asked us? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. and you're still excited about it, which means you've done well. You, we look forward to it. So, um, anyway, thank you, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Thanks to Shah. Thanks to Kate. See you thank soon. You. Bye. We gotta end this one. We gotta end this one before we say anything awful. Goodbye. <laughs>